The numbers are simply staggering. Children dying every day in Haiti due to waterborne illness. And that was before the earthquake. There's no accurate count now, but there is hope. That's because Dr. Richard Wukic and his organization called Potters for Peace are now in the country. Their fix, an ingenious hybrid, part clay pot, part water filter. It's made out of clay and sawdust, and it's, it's formed on a machine. It's, it's uh, made upside down. Um, it's mixed with approximately 50-50 clay and sawdust. You pour dirty water in the top, and as the water flows through these various cracks and crevices, it inevitably has to be passing by these, these uh, uh, particles of silver. And these particles of silver, when they go by, it's like the, a light turns on. And they radiate and they kill the bacteria. The bottom line, it saves lives. The clay filtration device is portable, can clean up to 2.5 liters of water per hour, costs as little as $15 to make. And Potters for Peace is not the only organization getting ceramic water filters like this to the people of Haiti. A group called Filter Pure, which uses a different mixture for its pots, has expanded its operations from the Dominican Republic across the border into Haiti. So how effective are these pots? According to the two organizations that make them water, passed through the pot comes out 99.9% .9 clean and 100% drinkable. The filtration pots are now being used in hospitals and temporary tent villages in Haiti. The device is also used around the world in Sudan, Honduras, and Afghanistan. I started thinking, you know what? If you made one filter and like you saved one life one day, that would be statistically uh, um, insignificant, except if it was your kid. And if it was your kid, that would be a great statistic. My kid lived. One simple thing, cleaning water and hoping to make the lives of the Haitian people better than before. Anderson Cooper, CNN, New York.